Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see Cancer, how are you coming into the reading? How is Cancer coming into the reading? Okay, how is Cancer coming? All right, Beard. All right, so this could be in terms of sexuality, hiding behind something because you don't want to show your true nature or true sexuality and this could also be hiding feelings emotions thoughts you know something is bearded um it is um it's max it's like a mask it's uh maybe you're masquerading um it's also an orange card so maybe you're like hiding behind your 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 thoughts and your emotions you don't want to have an emotional outburst okay let's see you also been letting something go on for a real long time. Maybe how you feel. How is, yeah, I love your smile. So this is how you're coming to, maybe you just don't want to show a particular person or particular people. I don't know how you feel about them, um, but I love your smile. So it's very personal. So it could be one person. Um, it could be a woman or feminine energy with the pink card. You also could be coming into the reading as bored. Maybe you're bored uh, because there was like a ghosting situation. Your person isn't talking to you or you aren't talking to them or it's mutual. Um, you could be bored with another feminine energy and you love someone else's smile, but you're holding back your emotions. You're holding back that impulse. Yeah, it's like somebody is miserable in a relationship or in a house, you know, a homing situation or a relationship here. Um, someone isn't doing well that could be you cancer is coming out is your energy it could also be flip-flop so get in where you fit in let's see how a particular person that is that you're coming to the reading for how they feel let's see how your person the person that you're coming to the reading for so they're working on themselves they're working on they have some goals honey they're trying to get things accomplished they're, they're focused on growth with this green uh, body goals card okay how's um yeah they're in a place of just uh giving thanks to the universe uh they're grateful they're mindful your person is really focused on growth here um let's see um your person is not there for you okay so you feel like um your person could be look this could be their energy they feel like you're not there for them they are there for you um it, it, we do have ghosting here so it's like a situation where you guys are separated um somebody feels left out you know ignored shunned if you will um, their irrational came in upside down. So, up, you know, with it right side up, they are being irrational with it upside down. They, they're being more rational, um, maybe in terms of their emotions, with this being an orange card, in terms of their outbursts or what they say. They're just trying to be more rational, look at things from a, a different angle. Um, yeah, because maybe somebody used to be a loud mouth and they used to say anything. They're at a place of understanding that maybe if, if they are being given a lie, a half truth, they just need to accept it. You or this person could be in two different places in the heart space and in the mind about this relationship. OK, um, let's see what the advice is for you, Cancer. What is the advice for Cancer? What is the advice for Cancer? Okay, remain positive, okay? Remain positive. Don't kind of go into a negative place. Maybe there's some time between you and your person. Um, learn how to compromise. Uh, learn how to, you know, give and take. It's a dance, right? Um, you receive your partner, then they receive you. You got to learn how to do it together. So you got to have some compromise. Um, know what you will compromise, okay, in this relationship here. This is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates, go over to the website, book there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Go over to uh, Catch Me Live tonight, Sunday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come for the collective reading. Ask a question or two. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you.